is another fault of some hitters where they cannot take the ball to the opposite field. We're going to do a, a drill that's called hit or get hit. The objective of this drill is for the hitter to let the ball get deep to him and then swing. When we're trying to hit the ball to opposite field, we want the ball to let the ball travel almost to where the ball is going to go into the catcher's mitt with our mentality and then take it to the opposite field. If we go out early and try to hit it, it's going to be difficult to have success hitting it to the opposite field. So we want the hitter to let the ball get deep. We want the ball, basically, like we're going to try to hit it out of the catcher's glove and swing. Now in this drill, I'm going to be throwing from the camera area right towards Ryan's belly button or belt area. Now he's going to either hit it by staying back and have success or get hit by not staying back and jumping forward because it'll be awfully hard for him to go forward and then try to hit. He's going to, it's going to force him to stay back, let the ball get deeper and hit it in here rather than trying to hit it with his hands way out in front. This is a great drill to teach guys that have, have a hard time doing the hit and run hitting a ball to the opposite field. Ryan's doing a great job of letting the ball get deep. Notice it hit him. So he wants to stay back, stay patient, let the ball get into the catcher's glove mentality. This is a very difficult thing to do. This will take players several rounds of, of repetitions to do this successfully. Obviously, we're going to use tennis balls or wiffle balls so we don't have injury to our hitters. Last one. A slow bat is another common fault in baseball. What we're going to do here is show you a couple drills. First of one being we're in the batting cage and I'm going to throw what I call hard toss. I'm going to throw the ball at a short distance, fairly hard, and the hitter is going to have to improve his reaction time and his hips, his hands, and everything to be quicker to be able to hit the ball. We do this fairly often, especially if we know we're going to go up against a, a hard-throwing pitcher to help create quicker hands, hips, and reaction time to the ball. So right now I'm going to take Ryan through about 10 swings of hard toss from a short distance and having him work his hips and hands quicker than he would normally do to hit a, a pitch ball. Two more. We call this drill hard toss. Another slow bat uh, enhancer to make it quicker is the weighted bat swing. This is probably done best during the off season, way early in the preseason, up getting ready for the season to start. I recommend a, a, a weight plate, starting off at maybe two and a half or five pounds. This is a 10 pound weight. And we want you to progress slowly. And what, what I have you doing here is putting the weight on like it's a donut that you use for hitting. And we're just working on just an easy, nice, fluid swing with the weight, eventually leading up to maybe five pounds, if possible, or even 10 throughout the, the preseason to get, add strength and quickness to your bat. So Ryan's going to come in and just demonstrate just a few swings. Again, we're not trying to swing hard here. We're just getting the swing intact, muscle memory, um, and also strength training through weight. Now this would be probably one of the higher stages using a 10 pound weight. Again, starting off at a two and a half pounder for a couple days or weeks, maybe someday jump up to the five pounder, and then maybe one day get up to the 10 pounder, depending on your strength. This will be a great strength trainer throughout the preseason.